Transmitting Data Log for Day 38 of the Galactic War. Data Archive. After completing the major order in the previous day, I am happy to log another positive day for Super Earth. Here is a state of the war at the beginning of Day 38. The last of four terminated control systems was complete on Arata Prime at the beginning of Day 38. This completed the major order by High Command and gave Super Earth full control over the Umlaut Sector. Gaining control over Arata Prime, Fenrir 3, and Meridia opened up offensive fronts into the Draco Sector and the Mirren Sector. The liberation campaigns for Hellmire, Crimsica, and Astani would begin on Day 38. On the Automaton front, not much has changed. The three offensives are in Ustotu, Malevolent Creek, and Dropnir. On the Terminated front, with three new offensives, Helldivers would spread across the three planets to try and establish a foothold. If significant ground is obtained, it may be possible for our engineers to start laying the infrastructure for another Terminated control system. Terminated resistance on these planets would be very high, with little to no progress made in the first half of the day. However, at the very end of the first half, it seemed something was developing in Astanu. Once this foothold was obtained, Helldivers would rally to Astanu to make a significant push. Carrying forward the momentum from previous days, Astanu would reach 50% liberation by the end of Day 38. Looking at the events in more detail, once the initial liberation was obtained, the amount of super destroyers deployed would nearly increase by 50% by the end of Day 38. Significant progress was made in Astanu on Day 38, and it seems like liberation may be possible on Day 39. On the Automaton front, reinforcements would finally arrive on Dropnir after the completion of the TCS. Liberation would rise gradually over the first 12 hours of the day. The Automaton defenses on Malevolent Creek and Ostotu, however, would remain unbreakable for Day 38. Looking at the data in Dropnir in more detail, a significant number of Super Destroyers were deployed to Dropnir shortly after the TCS was complete with liberation increasing by over 11% for the first 12 hours. In the second half of the day, progress would increase rapidly. The number of super destroyers deployed to Dropnir would nearly double. By the end of day 38, liberation would reach 64%, an overall increase of 36% over the course of the day. It would seem like the liberation of Dropnir is within reach for day 39. That is all for today's data log data archive. We remain in Dropnir to finish this liberation.